Hey guys, how are you doing? It is 7 p.m. at night and we're gonna go to the frame store. But first, I have a confession. I am very guilty of not managing my time today. I wanna to talk about that. So when anybody talks about time management, I often hear it in the context of artists getting work done or day-to-day -day habits that are kind of corrupting the productivity, the, the things that you want to be doing. And I get that. I totally get that. I've had many years of my life wasted by not managing my time well. Today I feel like I kind of slipped up. So what happened was I did not get up when I was planning to, and I ended up sleeping in too late, which in and of itself isn't a, a devastating activity, but it kind of set my day off a little bit wrong. So getting up late may or may not be a huge deal. I get that. I have gotten up late before and it hasn't completely thrown off my day. I thought I'd be good. Well, turns out getting up late then moved my writing session back and I had a chiropractic appointment to go to. So at this point in my day, I am now out four hours of writing time that I would normally be putting in at the coffee shop starting around 7 a.m. Well, that didn't happen. I go to my chiropractor appointment, do my thing there, go back, go right for two hours, and then I have my regular meeting on Mondays with my mentor, Ron Lemon. That went really well, we enjoyed it, and I am now at 5 p.m. into my evening, and I still haven't had the time to run my errands like I intended to after my chiropractor appointment this morning. So. Let this be a lesson to you, don't sleep in. But for real, I think it's super important to stick with the schedule that you've created for yourself when you take the time to lay out what your day is gonna look like roughly beforehand. Um, really respect that, it comes in handy. It is super important to keep a schedule and to stick with it because that is always gonna give you the most preparation that you can for getting things done. I hope that we can talk about some ways to fix that. But first, let's go look for a frame. I do on a regular basis that help me with these kinds of situations. Over the last two years, I've really kind of honed in on a lot of the issues that I've had personally as a freelance artist and even before that as a graphic designer. When you have to create deadlines, when you have to make sure that you are actually doing the things that you said you were gonna be doing, it takes time and a certain kind of dedication to this craft in order to be able to, to sit there for several hours and get stuff done. I'm not saying at all that I am an expert on this topic, but I do think I qualify to at least talk about a few of these things that I've learned over the years. So the first thing I would recommend doing is sitting down and creating a list. Make it a to-do list, make it a goals list for that week, and divide it up into some really basic tasks once you have those tasks, then you can then create a schedule for yourself, which I would say is number two. I like to use Google calendars to kind of outline some of the basic things that I need to get done throughout the month. And then on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll create a schedule for myself before the day happens. I like to keep my schedule in my Google calendars, as well as create just a basic schedule on a five by seven card. It just kind of gives me something to go off of before I start my day. I'm not a huge fan of planners. I feel like every time I've used them, uh, eventually they end up getting put on a shelf somewhere and I don't end up filling them up. Or I spend way too much time planning in them and not actually enough time doing the things in them. So really, I prefer to use apps and scrap pieces of paper that 
I always keep with me. And number three is executing on those plans. If you make a plan to do something for that day, either complete that task, and if you can't complete that task, move it to a different day and schedule it then. So when it comes to time management, another thing that I like to do is tracking my time. I started tracking my time about a year ago and it really has helped me figure out what I'm spending my time on as well as keep me on task. When I have the time already, I'm not as prone to wander off and do something else. Because the timer is running, I'm going to complete that task, turn it off, and then go do something. One app that I really enjoy using for keeping track of all my tasks and projects is Todoist. Anyways, I hope you found this somewhat useful. I, I feel like us as artists have to be so diligent with our time because we have so much to do, especially when you're running a business by yourself. You are doing the business side of things as well as the art making side of things. I hope this year is a year of productivity for you and time management is gonna be one of those things that's definitely gonna help you achieve those goals. Anyways, that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am really curious to hear do you struggle with time management? What kinds of things are you doing to maintain that level of productivity and kind of, yeah, just keep your life on track? I'm curious. Let us know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to reading those and getting a few more tips. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.